Next, I'm going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So if you debug the code, control comes to main function here after that coincides. So actually, I have taken six integer variable. First is i. Next, j. Here after a. S. K. And so here after control comes to this part or the odd function. So whatever we double code that display into the output is can enter the number of elements and whatever I'm going to enter so that received by n. So right here I'm going to enter n value 8. Here after control comes to for loop. So right here I value start from 1. That check the condition 1 less than equal to n value 8. Condition is to that coincide. So right here s value initialized to 0. Here control comes to this point for j start from 1 and here check the condition 1 less than 1 condition is to that coincide. So enter if 1 mod 1 remainder comes 0, 0 equal to 0 condition is to that coincide here that increase the value of s. So s is now 1 and hereafter or loop continue. So j is increase, so j is 2 now. Or check the condition 2 less than equal to 1, condition is not true, not go inside here. Control comes to this point if s double equal to 2. So s value is 1, 1 double equal to 2, condition is not true, so not go inside. Here after, or uh, that back and increase the value of i. So i is now 2. Or check the condition 2 less than n value 8, condition is to so s start from 0 again and here j value start from 1 check the condition 1 less than equal to i value 2 condition is to that coincides so right here i value is 2 j value is 1 2 mod 1 double equal to 0 so right here 2 mod 1 remainder comes 0 0 equal to 0 condition is 2 so increase the value of s so s is now 1 here after j increase so j is 2 now or uh, check the condition 2 less than equal to i value also 2 Condition is to that coincide. So I have 2 mod 2, remainder come 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is to so that increase the value of s. So s is 2 now. Here after j increase, so j is 3. Or uh, check the condition 3 less than i value 2, condition is to that coincide. So I have no 3 less than equal to j value is 3, i value is 2. So 3 less than equal to 2, condition is not true, so not coincide. And uh, here after control comes to this point, if s double equal to 2, so s value is 2 now, 2 double equal to 2, condition is to that coincide. So at here k initialized to 0, and here k become 1. And now control comes to this point, a start from 1, here check the condition 1 less than equal to k value, also 1. 1 equal to 1, condition is to that coincide. So at here see what, so, so that print the value of i, so i value is 2, so 2 print. Now here after that increase the value of a, so a is now 2, check the condition 2 less than k value 1, condition is not true, not coincide, here after control comes to this point, or see out, then slash and then cursor bring to the new line, here after that out from for loop and that go back and increase the value of i, so i is now 3, less than n value 8, condition is to that coincide, s will start from 0 again, and here j value start from 1 or check the condition 1 less than equal to i value is 3 condition is to that coincide so right here if i mod j so i value is now 3 j mod or j value is 2 so 3 mod j value is 1 so 3 mod 1 remainder comes 0 0 equal to 0 condition is to that coincide here increase the value of s so s is now 1 here after j increase so j is 2 Check the condition 2 less than equal to i value is 3. Condition is to that coincide. So right here, if 3 mod 2, so remainder come 1, 1 double equal to 0. Condition is not true, not increase the value of s. Here after j increase, so j is now 3. Check the condition 3 equal to 3. Condition is to that coincide. So if 3 mod 3, remainder come 0, 0 equal to 0. Condition is to so that 
increase the value of s so s is now 2 here after j increase so j is now 4 j the condition 4 less than equal to i value is 3 condition is uh, not true not coincide here after if s double equal to 2 so s value is 2 now so that coincide k increase so k is 2 here after if our uh, control comes to follow 4 a value start from 1 and here say the condition 1 less than equal to k value 2 condition is to that coincide here that print i value so i value is uh, 3 so 3 print and here after that increase the value of a so a is 2 now say the condition 2 less than equal to k value also 2 2 less than 2 equal to 2 condition is to that coincide that print i value so add here 3 print again here after a increase so a is 3 now check the condition or 3 less than equal to k value is 2 condition is not to not coincide here c out slash and then cursor blink to the new line here after that go back increase the value of i so i is 4 and here check the condition n value 8 4 less than equal to 8 condition is 2 so s value start from 0 and uh, j value start from 1 and here check the condition 1 less than equal to i value 4 condition is to that coincide so right here, if 4 mod 1 remainder come 0 0 equal to 0 condition is to that increase value of s so s is now 0 to 1 here after j increase so j is 2 check the condition 2 less than equal to 4 condition is 2 so right here 4 mod 2 remainder come 0 0 equal to 0 condition is 2 so that increase the value of s so s is now 1 to 2 here after that go up increase the value of j so j is now 3 so at here 3 less than equal to 4 condition is to that coincide so 4 mod 3 remainder come 1 1 double equal to 0 condition is not to not increase the value of s so here after j increase so j is now 4 so at here 4 equal to 4 condition is to that coincide so at here 4 mod 4 Remainder come 0, so that go here, s increase, so s is now or 3, here after j increase, so j is now 5, here after j the condition 5 less than equal to i value 4, condition is not to not coincide here, if s double equal to 2, so s value is 3, 3 double equal to 2, condition is not to not coincide, here after that go back in, here that increase the value of i, so i is now 5, Check the condition 5 less than equal to 8 condition is 2. So at here s value start from 0 again. Here j value start from 1. And check the condition 1 less than equal to i value 5 condition is to that coincide. So at here 5 mod 1. Remainder come 0, 0 equal to 0 condition is to that increase the value of s. So s is now 1. Here after j increase, so j is 2. So at here 2 less than equal to 5 condition is 2, 5 mod 2 remainder come 1, 1 double equal to 0 condition is not to not increase the value of s here j increase. So j is now 3, here after 3 check the condition 3 less than equal to 5 condition is 2, so 5 mod 3 double equal to 0 condition is not true. So here j increase, so j is 4 now, so at here 4 less than equal to 5 condition is 2, so at here 5 mod 4 double equal to 0 condition is not true, j increase, so j is now 5. So at here check the condition 5 equal to 5, condition is to so at here 5 mod 5, remainder come 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is to that increase the value of s. So s is now 2, here after j increase, so j is now or 6. So at here check the condition 6 less than equal to i value 5, condition is uh, not true, so here control comes to this point, if s double equal to 2, so s value is now or to add here condition is 2 so k increase so k is 3 now here after a value start from 1 check the condition 1 less than k value is 3 condition is 2 that coincide that print i value so i value is 5 5 print here after that go up increase the value of a so a is not 2 check the condition 2 less than 3 condition is 2 that coincide here that print i value so 5 print here after a increase so a is now 3 Check the condition 3 less than 3 condition is to that print i value so 5 print here after a increase so a is now 4 check the condition 4 less than equal to k value is 3 condition is not true so here control comes to this point see out slash and then cursor bring to the arena here after that go back and increase the value of i so i is now 6
Here check your condition 6 less than n value 8. Condition is true. So that coincide s value start from 0 again. Here j value start from 1. And here check the condition 1 less than equal to 6. Condition is true. That coincides. So at here if uh, 6 mod 1 remainder comes 0, 0 equal to 0. Condition is true. S increase. So S is now 1. Here after J increase. So J is true. Here J the condition 2 less than equal to I value. 6 condition is true. So 6 mod 2 remainder comes 0, 0 equal to 0. Condition is true. That increase value of S. So S is now 2. Here after J increase. So J is 3. Or check the condition 3 less than equal to I value. 6 condition is 2. So 6 mod 3 remainder comes 0, 0 equal to 0. Condition is 2. That increase the value of S. So S is now 3. Here after J increase. So J is now 4. Check the condition 4 less than equal to I value. 6 condition is 2. So at here. Or 6 mod 4. Double equal to 0. Condition is not true. Not coincide. Here J increase. So J is now 5. Check the condition 5 less than equal to i value 6 condition is 2 so that coincides so add 6 mod 5 double equal to 0 condition is not to not coincide here j increase so j is now 6 so at here check the condition 6 equal to 6 condition is 2 so at here if 6 mod 6 remainder comes 0 0 equal to 0 condition is 2 that increase the value of s so s is now 4 here after j increase so j is now 7 or check the condition 7 Less than equal to i value 6. Condition is not to not coincide here. Yeah, if s double equal to 2. So s value is now 4. 4 double equal to 2. Condition is not to not coincide. Here after that go back. Increase the value of i. So i is now 7. So at here check the condition. 7 less than equal to n value 8. Condition is to s value start from 0 again. And here j value start from 1. Check the condition 1 less than equal to i value 7 condition is 2 so I have 7 mod 1 double equal to 0 so condition is 2 that increase value of s so s is now 1 here after j increase so j is 2 so here check the condition 2 less than equal to 7 condition is 2 that coincides so I have 7 mod 2 so remainder come 1 1 double equal to 0 condition is not true not go increase value of s here j increase so j is now 3 Check the condition 3 less than 7 condition is 2. So at your same mod 3 double equal to 0 condition is not to not increase value of s. Here j increase. So j is now 4. Check the condition 4 less than equal to i value 7 condition is 2. So at your same mod 4 double equal to 0 condition is not to not increase value of s. Here j increase. So j is now 5. Check the condition 5 less than equal to i value 7 condition is uh, or True. So here same mod 5 double equal to 0 condition is not true. So here after that increase value of s. So s is now 6. Check the condition 6 less than equal to 7 condition is true. So that coincides same mod 6 double equal to 0 condition is not true. Here j increase. So j is now 7. So here after check the condition 7 equal to 7 condition is true. So at here same mod 7 remainder come 0. 0 equal to 0 condition is true. That increase value of s. So s is not true. Here after that increase the value of j. So j is now 8. Or oh, check the condition 8 less than equal to i value 7. Condition is not true. So not coincide here. If s double equal to 2. So s value is 2 now. So that increase the value of k. So k is so 4. Here after a value start from 1. Check the condition 1 less than equal to k value 4. Condition is to that print i value. So i value is 7. 7 print. Here after k increase, a increase, so a is now 2. Check the condition 2 less than equal to 4. Condition is to that print i value. So here, same print. Here after a increase, so a is now 3. Check the condition 3 less than 4. Condition is to that print i value. So here, same print. Here a increase, so a is now 4. Check the condition 4 less than equal to 7 k value 4, 4 equal to 4 condition is to that print. So at here that coincide i print i value, so 7 print. Here after a increase, so a is now 5. Check the condition 5 less than equal to 4, condition is not true. So not coincide here, see out, slash and then cursor bring to the near line. And here after that go back, increase the value of i. So i is now 8. So at here, check the condition 8 less than equal to 8, condition is to s value start from 0 again. And here, j value start from 1. 
So right here, check the condition. One less than equal to eight condition is or true. So that coincides. So right here, eight mod one double equal to zero condition is true. So that increase the value of s. So s is now one. Here after j increase, so j is now or two. So right here, check the condition. Two less than equal to eight condition is true. Eight mod two double equal to zero condition is true. So that increase the value of s. So s is now two. Here after j increase, so j is now or three. So eight mod three. So right here, three less than equal to eight condition is to that coincide. So at eight mod three double equal to zero condition is not to not increase the value of s. So as j gonna increase, so, so j is now four. So at here four less than equal to eight condition is to. So at here eight mod four double equal to zero condition is to. So that increase the value of s. So s is now three. Here after j increase. Oh, uh, so j is now five. So right here five less than equal to eight condition is true. So right here eight mod five double equal to zero condition is not true. J increase. So j is now six. So right here six less than equal to eight condition is true. So right here eight mod six double equal to zero condition is not true. J increase. So j is now seven. So right here seven less than equal to eight condition is true. So right here eight mod seven double equal to zero condition is not true. J increase. So j is now eight. Here eight equal to eight condition is true. So eight mod eight double equal to zero condition is or true. So that that increase the value of j. So j is now or three. So here after that increase the value of j. So j is now nine. So check the condition nine less than equal to eight condition is so not true. So not coincide here. If s double equal to two, so s value is three now. So three double equal to two condition is not to not go inside here. So again that back here that increase the value of i. So i is now nine. So here nine less than equal to n value are into eight condition is not true. So that not coincide here after that out from for loop and next that out from main function. So I enter n value eight, so I got this output two, three, three, five, three times, seven, four times. So if you enter n value at here or um, twelve, then you will get output eleven, five times. So according to n, that to uh, change the output. So next time you should try to enter n value twenty-five. So you do the same dry run method, so you will get the expected output. So this is the dry run method of this program. So I hope you guys understand. So thanks for watching. See you next week.